Okay, today I'm testing out the Fujian, Fujian? I'm not sure. 35 millimeter F17 adapted to Sony APS-C cameras. Okay, so today we have the Fujian 35 millimeter F1.7 CCTV lens being adapted over to my Sony A6000 series camera and it should perform about the same on any of the APS-C Sony cameras. Now, as you can see here in the gravel, what it does is when the center is blurry, the edges are sharp. And when the edges are blurry, the center is sharp. That's at f1.7. Now stopping the iris down, the story is pretty much the same, which is kind of interesting. It's almost like there's two different focal planes within this lens. The minimum focus is about what you see here to that leaf, and the focus is nice and smooth, works great for video. Also, the aperture ring is declicked. You're looking through the lens, and I shut down the iris. It stays pretty round, but it gets square towards the end there. I don't know if you can see that. And it actually will close beyond shut fully. So be careful about that. You don't want to damage those iris blades. Right there, you can see it's kind of a slit. That's weird. It's like clockwork. Every time I go to film a video, it starts raining. Okay, so here, this is an image straight out of camera. Notice the swirly background, now into a slightly edited version. And now we'll have this next image is also straight out of camera. A little closer, you can see the really blurry background. And then a little touch of edit. These next few images are the edited images. I actually used this lens almost exclusively for this photo shoot. And it did exactly what I wanted it to. Really giving it that kind of vintage vibe and giving it super soft edges and focus towards the center. Okay, so bottom line, do I recommend this little lens? And actually the answer is yes. Partially because the price is fantastic, but partially because I found it pretty useful in my day-to-day -day use. Sometimes when I really need to blur a background and I don't have enough lack of depth of field to accomplish that, this can be very handy because of the distortion around the edges when you're focused in the center. However, if you're gonna try to use it for a wide shot, just don't it's not going to work. If you're going to put your subject in the center of the frame and you want that kind of vintage look, this does it all in one. This thing is tiny. I mean, minuscule. Itty tiny, even with the adapter and the caps and yeah, it's tiny. If you're shooting Sony APS-C, get this lens. It's fun, you'll enjoy it. Don't shoot wide with this. It doesn't go well. Don't shoot subjects off to the side with this. It doesn't go well. This lens is very good at one specific thing. Use it for that. Until next time, be good to each other and enjoy your next shoot.